Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number four, religious festivals in Pakistan, and today I will deliver its fifth lecture, and today is its last lecture. Review hai aaj lecture ka. Ham tamam revision karenge, and then I will take an assessment. So, my dear students, let's quickly uh, recap, revise what we did. We were discussing about different religious festivals. Muslims are celebrating Eid al-Azha and Eid al-Fitr. In the same way, the other religions, like Sikhs, are celebrating Eid al-Fitr. Hindus are celebrating Diwali. Muslims are celebrating Eid al-Fitr. And Christians are celebrating Christmas. And Christians are celebrating Christmas. And Christians are celebrating Christmas. So these are different religious festivals of different faiths and different religions. So my dear students, these are the student learning outcomes that are given on the first page of unit number four. And then we discussed about different Islamic perspectives in different lectures. Let's quickly revise them. So the month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the <coughs> criterion of right and wrong. <coughs> and whosoever of you is present, let him fast the month and whosoever of you is sick or on a journey, let him fast the same number of other days. So my dear students, uh, Quran in Pak mein jo hai, wo Ramzan ke rozon ke upar focus hai, kyunki Ramzan ke rozon ke baad jo hai, wo hum Eid al-Fitr jo hai, wo celebrate karte hain. And then, uh, Allah has given you better than those feasts, feasts, Eid al-Azha and Eid al-Fitr. Jo Eid hai, yeh humara inam hai Allah Taala ki taraf se ek gift hai humare liye. Eid al-Fitr aur Eid al-Azha, both of them. So my dear students, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, the best aspect of faith is patience and forbearance. And keep up prayer and pay the poor due and bow down with those who bow down. So my dear students, sharing pay, tolerance pay, peace ke upar jo hai, hum ne baat ki thi in previous lectures. So my dear students, now is the time for review. So my dear students, one by one, hum tamam jo reading pages hai, unko review karenge. So on page number 33, we discussed about two of the main Muslim festivals, Eid al-Azha and Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr jo hai, when is Eid al-Fitr celebrated? Very good. It is celebrated on first of Shawal after the month of Ramadan. Why is it the Eid al-Fitr celebrate? To show gratitude towards Allah. Allah Taala ka shukr adha karne ke liye ke hamne tamam roze rakhe hain. Ham Eid al-Fitr jo hai wo as a yani ke shukrane ke taur pe jo hai wo manate hain. Then on page number thirty three, same page pe jo hai hamne Eid al-Azha ke baare mein discuss kiya tha. When is Eid al-Adha celebrated? On tenth of Zilhaj. Why Eid al-Azha is celebrated? Because Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam uh, gave a sacrifice. So in that memory, every year on 10th Zilhaj, Muslims celebrate Eid al-Azha. <coughs> and then we discussed about and identified different uh, festivals of other faiths and religions like Christmas, Bisakhi, and Diwali. So quickly tell, him, uh, tell me who celebrates Christmas. Christians, very nice. What is Bisakhi? It is the festival celebrated uh, on New Year, to celebrate New Year. What is Diwali? It is the festival of lights. Very nice. So my dear students, review ho gaya. Humne revision kar li. Now is the time for evaluation. Ab mein aapka ek chota sa test loongi, ek assessment hoogi. This assessment, you can simply download it from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. You will write down your name and your class and then read it very carefully, listen to me very carefully and then finish it. So religious festivals in Pakistan, fill in the blanks. Christmas is celebrated every year on Dash. Christmas is a religious festival of Dash. Dash is a festival of lights. Eid al-Fitr is celebrated on the first of Shawal at the end of the month of Dash. It is celebrated to show dash to Allah. People pay dash on Eid al-Fitr. 
Eid al Azha is celebrated on Dash. This day is celebrated in the remembrance of the great sacrifice of Hazrat Dash. People offer Eid Dash. People dash animals in the name of Allah Almighty. So very easy. We have revised hai. We have done it plenty of times in the previous lectures. Pause the video and read the worksheet very carefully and then complete it. I hope everybody has finished the worksheet. Recheck it and give it to your teacher for grading and marks. So my dear students, now is the time for homework. For homework, you will read unit number four. So that if there are any, if there is any lacking behind or aapka koi cheez jo hai, wo miss ho gai hai, so you can re-watch the previous lectures, read the unit and uh, so in that way, aapki reading bhi improve ho gai or agar koi cheez miss ho gai hai, to wo bhi complete ho jai So my dear students, what have we learnt in this unit? So all the students are now able to know that festivals connect us with our families and backgrounds. They also know that religious festivals promote peace, love and harmony. Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Azha. Christmas is celebrated by Christians on 25th of December every year. Diwali is a festival of Hindus and Jains. Bisakhi is the celebration of New Year by Sikhs. So my dear students, this is how we have discussed, identified and learned about different religious festivals celebrated in Pakistan by the Muslims and other faiths also. So my dear students, keep everybody around you safe. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.